The expansion of poppy growing in Afghanistan in recent years has created problems around the globe. Even at one of the most remote border inspection stations in the world, the frontier guards have to be extra vigilant against drugs traffickers. Hong Xilafu in the Persian language means Death Valley. It lies on the border between China and Pakistan on the Pamir Plateau at an altitude of 5,100 meters. Here, with the oxygen in the air is less than half what is at sea level, stands the Hongqilafu Border Inspection Station. The headquarters of the Hongqilafu Border Inspection Station is located in Tashkurgan County, the only Tajik Autonomous Prefecture in China. Tashkurgan is steeped in history. It is famous for the ruins of the Stone City in its north, which is believed to be the ancient capital of the state of Puli, which flourished more than 2,400 years ago. The border inspection staff are holding their daily briefing. The atmosphere is unusually serious. It seems a batch of illegal drugs has been smuggled into China via Hongqilafu. Li Shengyu, the director of the inspection station, reminds the soldiers to remain on high alert. In the past few years, more drugs have been smuggled across the Sino-Pakistani border as a direct result of the expansion of poppy growing in Afghanistan. Traditionally, growing opium poppies has been a major business in southern Afghanistan bordering Iran and Pakistan. Government restrictions on the trade have been constantly weakened due to the turbulent political situation in the country. United Nations statistics show that 87% of all the illegal heroin in the world originates in Afghanistan. In the past two years, a huge amount of smuggled drugs has been intercepted at Hongqilafu. On May 22, 2006, an inspector noticed a nervous-looking Pakistani tourist. The inspector's attention was suddenly drawn to a bottle of coke the tourist was holding in his hand. The coke was tested and shown to contain high-purity drugs produced in Afghanistan. Commissar Wu Wei has been sent to the inspection station to inform the soldiers there about the latest drug-fighting campaign. As he drives along the 130-kilometer road from Tashkurgan County town to the border inspection station, Wu Wei explains that this route, which connects Pakistan and China, was once part of the ancient Silk Road. The remains of ancient post houses can still be seen on the sides of the road. The weather on the highland can change unexpectedly. It was sunny when Wu Wei set out, but soon it starts to rain. Wu Wei says it is probably snowing in the mountains. Wu Wei is right. By the time the car is climbing the hill to the inspection station, it's snowing. <laughs> the soldiers can be seen standing on duty in the snow. Wu Wei wastes no time in calling a meeting. He informs the soldiers that intelligence reports suggest a consignment of drugs is about to be transported across the border. 
He urges the soldiers to be prepared. At 2 p.m., a tourist bus from Pakistan arrives at the inspection station. Are the drugs hidden inside the bus? Please show me your passport and uh, open your Chinese visa. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. The first step in a routine border inspection is to check the passengers' passports and visas. Drug smugglers often carry counterfeit passports. The inspection requires the soldiers to concentrate very hard. Even so, they do the job politely and calmly. They can't afford to miss any detail and may need to make a quick judgment. The baggage check is particularly important. The most common approach employed by drug smugglers is to hide the drugs in their luggage. They often employ highly ingenious ruses in an attempt to deceive the inspectors. While some inspectors examine the luggage, Another team board the bus to check it. The inspectors have known the Pakistani bus driver for a long time. Even so, they okay. check him very carefully, as always. At 3 p.m., an empty bus drives up to the inspection post on his way back to China after delivering his passengers to Pakistan. The soldiers examine the bus, paying particular attention to places where drugs may be hidden. <laughs> Chen Zhanggang is an officer at the inspection station. He explains that the station once had two sniffer dogs sent from headquarters. Unfortunately, the dogs died due to the lack of oxygen. So all the examination work has to be carried out by soldiers relying on their professional experience. The building resembling a villa is the soldiers' barracks. But 10 years ago, the soldiers had to live in the camper van. Living conditions have improved beyond recognition in the past decade. The barracks now has satellite TV, wireless communications equipment, and even recreational facilities such as a billiards table. Chen Zhanggang, who arrived at the post in 1995, has experienced all the changes that have taken place during the past decade. Hong Chi Lafu border pass is open from May the 1st to October the 31st. For the rest of the year, when the area is covered in ice and snow, it's closed. Yet the soldiers have to be stationed here even during the six months of the off-season. Even getting fresh drinking water is a demanding job at this altitude. Uh, the soldiers can now obtain water from a new well by the barracks. Wu explains that they can even shower in hot water, quite a luxury at this altitude. 
The Sino-Pakistani border is three kilometers away from the inspection post. Each day, tourists from China and Pakistan pass the border marker bearing the number seven. The scene seems calm and peaceful. Yet the border guards on both sides maintain a high state of alert at all times. Uppermost in their minds is their determination to stamp out drug smuggling. Dawn breaks to the sound of the bugle. A new day begins. At 10 a.m., the inspectors check their uniforms and prepare to go to work in the inspection hall. As China has opened up more and more to the outside world in recent years, so the Hongqilafu border has been officially opened to other nationalities apart from just Pakistanis. The number of passengers, vehicles and commodities passing through Hongqilafu is rising constantly year by year. The initial examination of passengers and vehicles is carried out at the border post. More careful and stricter examinations are conducted in the inspection hall. An inspector's doubts have been raised by the Uyghur women's passport. A Uyghur interpreter is summoned to assist in the interrogation. The inspector decides the passport needs to be examined using specialist equipment. Further analysis has revealed that the passport is, in fact, genuine. The photograph in it was taken much more recently than that on her ID card. That's why they look different. The inspectors still haven't found any sign of the latched drug shipment. But they say they will continue to remain vigilant. Here at the highest border inspection station in the world, the hardworking soldiers are proud of the reputation they have earned for their commitment to safeguarding their country. <laughs>